Hello everyone, I'm Edward. Hello everyone, I'm Jesse. Welcome to Yuen live stream. Today we are going to show you around the Yuen forklift factory. Jesse, do you know mm -hmm. something about our history? Of course. Yuen started the forklift production in 1978 and it is one of the earliest manufacturers in China. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, we only produce electric forklift like Rich Chuck and uh, VNA, mm -hmm. and later the counterbalance electric forklift and uh, IC trucks. Mm -hmm. Up to now, we have the electric forklift from 1.5 to 5 ton, and the leasing battery forklift 1.5 to 3.5 ton, mm -hmm. and the IC trucks 1.5 to 10 tons, mm -hmm. and of course the raft rain forklift 2.5 to 3.5 five time and now UN has become one of the most professional manufacturers in China and this year we are upgrading our factory uh, due to the development of UN forklift Wow you did some work let's, yes let's show you uh, let's show our customers the factory okay let's go uh, after entering the entrance this is a uh, assembly workshop uh, testing workshop and the painting line workshop this is our office building. Uh, here's the lobby. Sometimes we use it as the showroom. Let me show you around. Here we have a production management uh, department. Uh, partition department, quality control department. On the second floor, we have a uh, financial department, uh, R and D department, and the Hyundai OEM office. So, how many staff do we have in this factory? Uh, now we have uh, more than five hundred st staffs, uh, uh, thirty engineers in the uh, R and D department, and now we are recruiting more and more steps due to the expanded production. Okay, now it's time to see our factories. Actually, now we have two factories, and the new one is for our structure parts. Now we are at the old factory. The new one is close to here. Yes. Let's show our customer. Okay, let's go. Now we are at the start point of our forklift. Today we will show you how to build a forklift. To build a forklift, first we need a raw material like steel. As we know, most of the parts of a forklift is built by steel, so we need a lot of that. You can see here we have steel bar, steel plate, and steel channel. All of these steel are heavy duty steel from reliable suppliers, such as for the 2.5 rich truck we use, imported Germany steel channel. All of the raw materials have to be inspected by our QC department before we accept it. Yes, after they have been accepted, all these steel will be cut over there by flame cutting machine, plasma cutting machine, and the laser cutting machine. Here is the laser cutting machine. It could cut the steel panel from one millimeter to 12, km, 12 millimeters, exactly according to the design. It has much better accuracy and high efficiency, so the parts will need less machining later. It totally speeds up the parts manufacturing process. Wow, it's so cool! After the cutting, the parts will be machined by CNC equipment, and drilled by drilling machine, milled by milling machine, Banded and punched on these machines. These machines look a little bit old, but they are still in good condition and could machine the parts very well to meet the requirements. Now we are at the welding area. We have uh, three welding lines here. Small parts are welded by manually. Big parts like mast, chassis, oil tank, and the full carriage are welded by robots. Now we have five robots like this. They are working with high efficiency and great welding quality. 
the welding is smooth and reliable. Now I know why the welding of the truck body is so beautiful. That's because of the welding robot machine. Yes, it is. Now we see are the tooling and the fixtures for the chassis. A good tooling could ensure the consistency of the chassis quality. This new fixture uses electrical control. We input the same date for each model, so every chassis will have the same size. It is more accurate and precise than the manual control type, so the new one will make sure the consistency of the stable quality. I can see there are many features here, so we must invest a lot of money on it. Yes, this is to ensure the forklift quality is stable and reliable. I can see that we make almost all of the parts by ourselves in this factory. Can you tell me why? Good question. We make all of the main parts by ourselves. So it's better for us to control the quality and the delivery time. Some factories, they do not have the ability to produce all the main parts by themselves. They have to outsource the main parts. The delivery time will be longer because the supplier has many customers. With this big and professional parts factory, we have more confidence in our forklift quality. Here is the painting line. So how many steps do we have about the painting? We have eight steps for the process. Sandblasting, primer paint, baking, party, baking, polish, floating coat, finish coat. We have three layers of painting. The primary paint, the floating paint, and the finish painting. So the painting is beautiful and strong, just like a car painting. Yes. Three layers of painting. I think that's why our painting quality is so good. And the painting we use is water painting. It is good for our staff's health and eco-friendly. Our standard color is yellow and the color code is RAL1028. Other colors will be optional. Yes, actually this is our old painting line. We are going to build a new painting line here. The new painting line will improve the painting quality and efficiency. It will also offer better working conditions for our staff. Here is master assembly area. At this moment, they do most of the work manually, and it takes very long time to assemble a mast. So do we have any plan to improve it? Yes, we have a plan to build a new mast assembly line. It will be flow line production. More electric equipment will be used, so less manual work are involved. Most important is that the production efficiency is much higher than before, and the quality is improved. Here are the truck assembly lines. We have three assembly lines here, and uh, this is for the electric forklifts. These two are for the IC trucks. Uh, certainly, each line's production capacity is uh, 50 units per day. We also plan to build a new production line. Uh, this year, the production capacity will be doubled at that time. Oh, then our delivery time will shorter than now, right? Yes. There are 10 work positions for the assembly line. The truck will be assembled step by step from powertrain Chassis, hydraulic system, electrical system, cooling system, exhaust system, overhead guard, etc. Each step has a very clear and straight work instructions. Workers will follow, follow up these instructions to make sure the truck is assembled as designed. After the trucks off the assembly line, we will put on the mast here and put on the cut with there. Oh, after the assembly, where do we test the forklift? Uh, we have indoor testing line and outdoor testing line. Uh, let's go have a look. Okay, let's go. 
here is the indoor testing line. We also have a new testing line on the building. Can you introduce one by one? Okay. The first test is the running in testing of transmission. They will run forward and reverse for about 15 minutes. The second step is must adjust. They will check the must to see if it's on the same horizontal line between left and right. Must tilting and lifting performance. The third step is the test of max travel speed, brake system. The fourth step is the test of steering system to check the steering angle and response time. The fifth step is test of masting, tilting, lifting, hydraulic system leakage and holding ability. Our forklift has to pass all this testing, otherwise they will not be qualified to ship to our customers. Yes, of course. Each test is connecting with the computer. There will be a test report for each forklift. After the indoor testing, we will do the grid ability, actual loading and unloading running test here. Yes, just like our customer use a forklift at their working site. Uh, yes, you are right. After all the testing, we will do the final checking and clean the truck, and then put it into our finished truck warehouse. This is our spill part warehouse. Wow, it's really a big warehouse. Yes, it is. All the parts are piled well on shelf according to its category. The parts here are not only for production and also for the after service. So we can deliver the parts immediately when we have parts need from our customers. Oh, that's good. So our customers do need not to wait for a long time to get the parts. Yes, of course. Part service is always what you and concerns. Great. Here is our warehouse of trucks, and these finished forklift trucks will be delivered from this delivery platform. Pre-delivery inspection will be done before we put them into containers. Before loading, we will check all the things according to the shipment instruction to ensure everything is okay. High quality iron wheels and special wooden blocks to fasten the forklift. Ensure the forklift is safe for special delivery conditions. Loading workers take photos of each step when they load the forklift into the container so that the salesman could send these photos to the customers at the first time. Hi Jesse, so now you know how to build a forklift from the beginning to the finish. Yes, after this visit, I know more about UN forklift and have more confidence about UN forklift. So this is the end of the factory tour. Hope our introduction will help you know UN better. UN is on the grid change now and you will see a better UN in a short time. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have any inquiries, please feel free to contact us. We are always here for you. Bye-bye.